Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the root of the lung. I will also explain the hilum of the lung. The lungs are two important structures for respiration. They are separated from each other by the mediastinum and the lungs are connected to the mediastinum by the root of the lung. So the root of the lung, the root of a lung connects connects the lung to the mediastinum okay what is mediastinum mediastinum are group of structures in between the lung we got that so we have root and we have another word is called hilum what is hilum hilum is a waist shaped space through which the structures forming the root of the lung of the lung enters and enters and exit the lung okay we got that so this is the left lung this cardiac notch and big cardiac impression apex is above below you have the concavity the base rest on the left dome of the diaphragm and this is the medial aspect, medial side of the lung. This area is the hilum. Hilum is the space. Root are the group of structure that passes through that space. Okay, we got that. So we got hilum is a waist shaped space through which the structures forming the root of the lung enters and exit the lung. So Hilum is the space for the root. Root is a bundle of structures a group of structure okay some of them enters the lung some of them exist the lung okay some of them enters the lung and some of them exits the lung we got the hilum and root so hilum is the space root is the group of structures so what structures are present in the root of the lung these are the roots okay this is the this is the right lung root right lung root right lung root this is the left 
long root. Okay, so what are the structures that is present in the root? These all structures are the root and the space around it is the hilum. Okay, we got the hilum and root. Now we have to go through what are the what what structure forms the root? Okay, what structures? form the root okay we get the pulmonary artery pulmonary veins we have the bronchus Lymph nodes, lymph nodes, nerve plexus, and we have the areolar tissue. The areolar tissue keep all the structures together in and forms the root we have areolar tissue here around that and this space is the hilum these structures forms the root if we consider a tree if we just take out the tree from the earth the the depression on the earth is the hilum okay we got the structure structures forming the root what structures form the root okay we got we got the structures okay now we arrange the structure in the left line and right line okay so this is the model of the left line this is the model of the right line this is our interior border inferior border base of the right line apex we have also fissure marking on the right line the oblique fissure and the horizontal fissure okay we got that so this is again base inferior border the posterior border is blunt both the lung posterior border is blunt anterior border is sharp okay we got that now we'll find out the vertebral level of the root of the lung vertebral level it is t5 t6 and t7 thoracic vertebra we got the vertebral level okay vertebral level maybe go up and down with respiration it will go up and down vertebral level we got that now we have to know the relationship of structure from anterior to posterior relation shape of structures we can say arrangement of structures arrangement of structures from before backward for both lungs that means for the left lung and right lung okay most anterior structure is the most anterior structure is the superior pulmonary vein superior pulmonary vein okay so this is suppose number one the superior pulmonary vein then we'll get the then we'll get the artery okay the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery 
artery from anterior to posterior before backwards okay then we'll get the bronchus bronchus is posteriorly located most anterior structure is the superior pulmonary vein this is the superior pulmonary vein like this this is the superior pulmonary vein this is superior pulmonary vein on the left lung superior pulmonary vein on the right lung okay then we got the pulmonary artery this is the right pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery okay you can put it number two then bronchus bronchus is posterior this is the bronchus okay how can you identify in the dissection hall from anterior to posterior the superior pulmonary vein not artery its color is red but it is a vein it carries oxygenated blood then pulmonary artery this is the right pulmonary artery it carries deoxygenated blood then the bronchus this is the bronchus how can you palpate the bronchus wall will be hard feeling because it contains cartilage in the dissection hall on your real specimen if you palpate you will get hard feeling okay so most anterior structure is the superior pulmonary vein then the pulmonary artery then the bronchus okay here is the bronchus on the right side our bronchus has two division this is the hip arterial bronchus this is the hip arterial bronchus and you must remember that from in case of in the relationship the inferior pulmonary vein is always inferior okay you have to remember that okay inferior pulmonary vein is always inferior location in the root so this is the this is the right inferior pulmonary vein is the left inferior pulmonary vein this is the left inferior pulmonary vein this is the right inferior pulmonary vein okay we have to remember that we have to remember that superior pulmonary vein is always anterior in the root of the lung so superior pulmonary vein is always almost always is usually better to say sometimes there may be some variation usually anteriorly located okay you got that relationship from anterior to posterior okay so we go again the superior pulmonary vein pulmonary artery bronchus bronchus is along the posterior aspect okay so if you go to the relationship from above downward the arrangement of structures from above downward above downward then we we'll get in the left lung or right lung first starts the right lung right lung what is the relationship from above downward right lung that is this is the superior lower bronchus or hip arterial bronchus hip arterial bronchus okay this is the hip arterial bronchus you can put the number here now this is the hip arterial bronchus hip arterial 
bronchus. Also called superior lower bronchus because it goes it is a secondary bronchus that goes to the superior lobe of the right now okay then the right pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery then we we'll get the we we'll get the hip arterial bronchus hip arterial bronchus that goes to the lower lobe and middle lobe of the right lung okay hip arterial bronchus then we we'll go to the above downward we we'll get to the inferior right inferior pulmonary vein right inferior pulmonary vein okay we got from above downward relationship of the structure the arrangement of the structure from above downward the right lung right lung root we have the hip arterial bronchus then we have the right pulmonary artery that is a branch of pulmonary trunk then we have the hip arterial bronchus this goes to the lower lobe and middle lobe this is the bronchus you can palpate by feeling it it's hard feel because it contains hyaline cartilage and we get the right inferior pulmonary vein this is the right lung now go to the left lung from above downward okay left lung if we go to the left lung then we'll get the artery above this is the artery what artery this is the left pulmonary artery this is above okay so left pulmonary artery artery left left pulmonary artery okay then we we'll get from above downward we we'll get the bronchus this is the left primary bronchus left primary bronchus or main bronchus or principal bronchus okay left primary bronchus okay this is the left primary bronchus then left inferior pulmonary vein left inferior pulmonary vein okay we got the relationship above downward in the root of the left lung left pulmonary artery this is there it is carrying the oxygen to blood left primary bronchus this is that it is located posterior aspect of the root and it is thick wall if you feel pulp it will feel hard feeling because it contains hyaline cartilage you will get the left inferior pulmonary vein we got the structures arrangement in the root of the lung from anterior posterior from above downward in the left lung and right lung okay we got that now to find out few more things what are these these are the lymph nodes okay these are the lymph nodes okay their number vary maybe 2 to 6 or 7 okay so these are lymph nodes what lymph nodes they are the bronchopulmonary lymph node bronco pulmonary lymph node okay also called hilar lymph node because they are in the hilum hilar lymph node okay and their number is variable and their arrangement is not very much ordered 
and size may be variable depending on the pathology of that person if he's a smoker maybe larger if he is suffering from some type of infection the lymph node will be enlarged in a smoker it is dark color in the dissection hall you'll find out that and also in case of lung cancer it may be large in case of tuberculosis it will be large if you take a plain x-ray chest you will get enlarged hilar lymph shadow okay we got that so its arrangement is not orderly it may be haphazardly against the lymph nodes now we'll go to the relation shapes of the root of the lung edge of root of the root of the lung okay so anterior relationship anterior relationship for the both lung we have anterior will get the phrenic nerve and pericardiaco phrenic vessel pericardiaco or pericardio both are correct cardiaco or pericardio phrenic vessel and anterior pulmonary plexus anterior pulmonary plexus this is common for both left and right lung left and right lung root okay so phrenic now pericardiac phrenic vessels and we have the anterior pulmonary plexus anteriorly in case of right lung we have another relationship and the two relationship okay you have to know that in case of right lung anteriorly right lung root okay we have also the superior vena cava vena cava and part of right atrium we got the anterior relationship now we we'll go to the posterior relationship okay posterior relationship certainly posterior pulmonary plexus and pul pulmonary plexus is an autonomic nerve plexus having contribution from the sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve posterior pulmonary plexus and certainly will have the vagus nerve so this is very important you have to remember that what nerve passes in front of the root of the lung and such should be phrenic nerve what nerve passes behind the root of the lung and such should be the vagus nerve okay we got that so posterior relationship this is common for both the left lung right lung but for the left lung we have one more relationship that is the descending thoracic aorta okay we got the anterior relationship posterior relationship then we have to find out the relationship over the root of the lung okay so suppose this is the right lung we got the structures here the root and it is in the high lung and what structure passes over the root of the right lung that is the a gyrus vein okay okay over the root of the right lung the structure making relationship is the a gyrus vein over the root of the left lung left lung our structure should be the 
arch of the aorta of the aorta okay so we got the relationship of the root now few more things we have to know that here is the mediastinal pleura it it will be continued as the as a pulmonary pleura here is the mediastinal pleura it will continue as the pulmonary pleura there will be reflection there reflection there pulmonary pleura and they make a sleeve sleeve over the root of the lung over the root of the lung that is called mesentery of the lung mesentery of the lung also called major pneumonia pneumo pneumonia okay so you got that and this leaf of mediastinal pleura going down here to form the pulmonary ligament pulmonary ligament here ligament this is the pulmonary, right pulmonary ligament left pulmonary ligament formed by the sleeve of the mediastinal pleura coming together we have some loose irregular tissue here essential in case of physical exercise the pulmonary vein is expanded root may go down through that these are not empty spaces they contain loose irregular tissue okay here we get loose irregular tissue okay this is loose irregular large tissue so we got the root of the lung what is the significance of the root of the lung a lot of structure goes in and out and hilar lymph node may be enlarged in case of lung cancer in case of tuberculosis even in a smoker it may be large a person work in the coal mine it will be large and it will be dark color because it may contain a lot of the carbon particle and we know the pulmonary ligament is formed by two layers of the mediastinal pleura mediastinal pleura is reflected to the pulmonary pleura around the root of the lung and forms the 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 mediastinal forms the sleeve over the root of the lung called mesentery of the lung and may also called mesopneumonia so that's all about the root of the lung if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me if you have any question please feel free to ask me and share the information with your friend have a nice day bye now